but I'm gonna speak a bit about uh, my country, India, uh, and the state of people out there, and, and try to uh, erase uh, some uh, misunderstanding about you know probably things that have happened long back and the way we have evolved and progress and uh, good things we're doing, great projects we're working on, and the way community has really taken a good shape out there. Uh, before I start, can can we have a show of hands? Uh, if you have ever worked with a company in India or are doing that, irrespective of whatever experience you have ever. Okay, a couple of you, that's good. <coughs> Uh, quick one about me, so I am an uh, information technology professional for the last couple of years, almost uh, 16 years now. I've been living and living Drupal since the uh, last seven years. And I live in Jaipur, India. It's a small uh, city in, uh, in the west part of the country. Uh, I, I'll show you some visuals about that, just to start the note with the lighter side of it. Uh, the city is famous for forts and palaces, so this is one of the ports we have there. And, uh, uh, we are about you know culture and and colors and diversity. Uh, in my city, we have a event uh, every year called uh, the event of killer kites. There's a Hindi name for that. And most of the uh, folks in the city would be up on the roof flying their kites, <coughs> and cutting their kite. And it's like operation which starts right from morning and goes till the sun goes down. It's awesome. It's a lot of passion you see out there. The way we celebrate things, you know, Diwali. That's like sort of our Christmas. Yeah. You know, just go ahead, blow fireworks, crackers, go mad. Sweet. Another uh, colorful uh, function we have uh, every year is actually next week. Uh, it's called Holi. We color everybody, lots of colors. So, uh, and then the last thing is obviously cricket. Uh, so we love cricket. Absolutely love cricket. And we're doing good in the current world uh, championship, by the way. So the bottom line is, uh, we are quite passionate in things that we do. Or looking at it the other way, if you like something, we like we do it to the dirt. I mean, you know, just go ahead and make the most of it. And uh, that's something I'm going to touch upon <coughs> from Drupal uh, adoption and evolution in India as well and how we move from what we were like about this back to today. I'll give you a quick uh, uh, milestone summary of uh, the Indian Drupal story. We, uh, we started Drupal somewhere around 2006. First post on India group was posted there. I had to dig it out. Uh, first uh, so-called Drupal camp happened in 2007. There was an article posted in the Indian magazine. It was an interview for, uh, uh, with Drees. And then in 2011, Dries visited India. He, he visited a couple of camps. That's when a lot of uh, traction happened. Uh, there were camps in three cities. More than 20 plus companies participated. More than 1,000 visitors uh, uh, attended the camps. 2015, uh, last month, Drupal Association uh, visited India scouting for uh, a possible venue for the next Drupal Con, India or Asia. I think they still haven't finalize the name of that and the scope, but it's pretty much going to be in India for sure. Uh, not officially announced, uh, we're still uh, looking forward to probably LA for an official announcement of that. And 2016 is when a con may possibly happen in India. So that's a very short timeline uh, milestone uh, for uh, Drupal in India. Uh, I'd like to show you a small video. It's a two uh, minute video, so I hope it's not boring. Uh, and I hope the audio would play out well. Oops. Language barriers. 
it's not fair to say that this is going to be really easier. Educated in India, you know English, even if it's not your first language. So India actually should have an easier time being involved in some of the discussions. And there, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are developers there. There are just not as many as I expect. And I don't know quite why. My gut feel is that there's a fair amount of really enthusiastic, like local likes, yeah. and I, I get to hear about them. But at the same time, I think a lot of the actual professional uh, developers in India see software development as a job, not as a hobby. That's my, that's kind of the picture I've gotten. I don't know if it's true. And if you see it as a job, not as a hobby, the whole open source thing is not as natural anymore. A lot of the open source developers really started out developing because it's fun, and then they got a job later. So to them, the hobby came first and the job came later. You start off with thinking of programming as a job and a well-paying one, right? Then open source is not as natural and you're not as likely to, to get involved. That's my guess. Yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, Linus Torvalds talking about uh, his, uh, his opinion about uh, the contribution culture uh, in India or the way it was happening or perhaps uh, a slight lack of that. But that was 2011 and uh, I fairly agree with him uh, on those notes. The reason why I showed this video to you was uh, I'm sure a couple of you would have uh, had similar uh, opinions if you have dealt with uh, the company out there. But things have dramatically changed, thanks to the awesome people community and the, uh, the global ecosystem for that. And we've really come a long way. I'll show you the next slides to explain how and why, and probably share some numbers with you, if this thing goes away, that is. So this is how the journey started. Uh, there was a lot of consumption-based uh, work culture when we probably got introduced to Drupal. Uh, for this, you have to understand the way uh, Indian, uh, uh, understand a bit about Indian context. Uh, developers out there earlier were a lot of job-focused and you know, get into a job, make money, and get out of it sort of stuff. Uh, and uh, proof, uh, pool of highly skilled talent uh, was very limited, even it is limited as of today. Uh, it was tough to retain good talent as there was little recognition and job satisfaction. There was no community uh, probably five years back. So people really were not passionate, passionate about uh, uh, coding and contributing to the community, uh, uh, working on the project as such. There were high degrees of pressure from rework, you know, often burnouts would happen. Uh, there was continuous struggle with salary appraisals. That's a very uh, uh, common problem the majority of Indian companies have been facing a lot. Uh, since a uh, long, long time back. And winning sales was a challenge due to lack of contribution achievements because even companies and marketplace demanded uh, what's your contribution profile, uh, how active are you in the community, uh, how uh, effective have your uh, folks been, and that was missing then. Uh, but that was 2011, fast forward four years. Uh, Drupal has really become a serious career choice in India not just a job, uh, the technology. Companies have begun realizing, and a lot of them have already done that, that strategically, uh, this is very important community, you can't ignore it. Uh, and they've started encouraging, encouraging their folks to host, volunteer, speak, and contribute to the community, speak in these technical meetups, present, uh, share their experiences. Uh, there's something called social culture social status, which is very important in India as well. So a lot of developers uh, realized that uh, once you are active in the community, once you start contributing to the core, uh, to 
the, the project, the community, you get recognition and that recognition really brings a lot of social status for you, at least in that community where you're working with. And that helped a lot of developers start focus on the contribution part. And then uh, lately a lot of mentorship started happening, uh, both from organizational perspective, from community perspective, from individuals, which helped people get on board, know about the community, know about the process of contributing code and stuff like that. And things started changing. To what extent, let's see some numbers, let's see how uh, things have changed. Uh, I've taken a couple of these uh, data from uh, Megan Seneke's slide, so uh, I hope uh, they are fairly uh, uh, validated as well. So we are the second highest visit to Drupal.org. Uh, US is 1 million, India is like 450k. This is January 2015. Uh, from business perspective, uh, Worldwide enterprise companies such as Accenture, Capgemini, Cognizant, and their Indian counterparts like TCS, HCL have built significantly uh, uh, good practices in, in Drupal in India and working on some very uh, interesting projects, some very high profile projects as well. More than 100 Indian businesses are already listed with Drupal Marketplace and Drupal Association database. More than 50 percent Indian companies support Drupal Association uh, as an organizational member, uh, supporter, DrupalCon sponsor. This data is coming from uh, DA. More than 50,000 jobs are listed on some of the Indian job boards. Uh, some of them I've mentioned here. Uh, this is a, another screenshot taken from Megan Seneke's uh, deck, uh, highlighting some real high profile projects that India has you know, delivered, if not full, a uh, significant portion of that. Uh, you must have uh, read about the uh, Royal Mail, you must have uh, probably checked out, uh, posted by I think Steve. There was a plug to this by Dries as well, a couple of years back. Uh, Jacob saying Regional Director Acquia India also mentioned this as part of his session in RuperCon Denver. Uh, coining a term called uh, elephants are coming. The whole idea was that uh, these large company and enterprises have started taking a note of Drupal. So, uh, and it's happening from places like India and you know, such developing countries. So, what I say is that elephants probably have already arrived and you know, start, started uh, uh, making a playground over there. Uh, I'll, I'll probably touch upon a um, Royal Mail project perhaps because that's one of the most uh, highlighted projects uh, in Drupal space. I think uh, uh, Royal Mail was uh, one of the first enterprise projects that uh, uh, validated Drupal as a solution for enterprise. And uh, it was done by Capgemini. And uh, uh, this is the second largest employer in UK uh, looking at Drupal as a solution. And the majority of this, or a significant portion of this project was developed in India. Likewise, Pfizer as well. They've been working very closely with uh, TCS. Uh, a majority of uh, developments is taking place in India. Red Hat, Vogue, Verizone, Coca-Cola, MNN. So these are some very high profile projects that were uh, delivered and these clients trusted uh, Indian developers and companies to uh, partner with and uh, get along. If you look at the community numbers in India, we are like, uh, we have done around 150 plus events since for the last five years, more than 80 plus meetups. Uh, we have had more than 6,500 visitors to these camps in India alone. Uh, almost 50, uh, 500 plus visitors to court sprints. Average Drupal con attendance in uh, 2015 in Delhi and Mumbai was around 600 and 100 plus in court sprints. 40 plus companies are actively involved in terms of Drupal 8 court patches. Four Indian companies in the top 50 contributors list. Uh, you can check out a site called drupalcourse.com for that. And uh, uh, we've done around 689 plus D8 core patches uh, uh, to the project. And we obviously are a venue for the next uh, international Drupal call as well. So the whole idea of sharing these numbers were uh, to emphasize on the fact that what Linus was talking about was long back, things have changed, a lot of last projects have been delivered, a lot of partnerships are happening. And What's important is to understand that the ecosystem needs support from everybody, both from business and individual perspective. And uh, that's more or less the summary of my talk.
uh, which I'll probably cut short to. These are some numbers about you know how uh, uh, companies have uh, started participating in Indian Drupal ecosystem since 2006. This is a chart about uh, uh, the same journey. Uh, as you can see, 2014 we really uh, jumped to a large number in terms of uh, Drupal camps uh, participation. Some of the visuals from some of these events, meetups that are happening around the country. And uh, so I'd like to wrap up by this summary that, you know, the ecosystems of democracy and community focus time, focus take time to evolve and mature. And we have, uh, we are pretty much doing that and we are, we have like really reached a stage where we feel that we are fairly mature. Now let's jump to the next stage. So uh, everybody has to be patient and supportive. We're transforming quickly from a consumption-based work culture to a contribution-based open source ecosystem. And the biggest strides are just around the corner. Touch companies based on their contributions, community involvement, and delivery talent quality, not just the price on the front door. That's a very important sort of a, a suggestion or appeal to the uh, international businesses and everybody out here who are either doing businesses with Indian companies or would like to do. Think about it as investing in the ecosystem and not just contracting for a one-off solution. So that was pretty much it, uh, a short uh, presentation. I just wanted to touch upon some important facts from Indian uh, Drupal journey. Any question? We do have time. Yes, please. I've understood that it's a quite high turnover in Indian workforce. Does the uh, the community aspect help in any any of that? Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, does the community aspect help on any of that that you can retain the employees better in your company? Uh, yes, absolutely, it does. So what's happening is community is helping individuals uh, do it the right way rather than just do a nine to five job and you know deliver your stuff and come back home. <coughs> So individuals have started contributing, uh, they've started uh, submitting patches, they've started helping each other, um, a whole ecosystem is born around that and once the individual quality improves and uh, once these folks understand the, uh, the quality aspects of code and uh, apart from just the day job, they start pushing uh, community initiatives, companies also benefit because once uh, you have folks in your company who are contributing, they are like, you know, more uh, satisfied people out there. There's a lot more uh, job satisfaction happening than it was earlier. So I believe it's a, it's a very important thing that has really changed the ecosystem in India. And for that matter, maybe a lot of other developing countries or countries that, have, uh, uh, that are starting to uh, embrace Drupal as a platform. I hope that answers your question. I think part of that uh, answer, and you know, maybe just add on to that. So, I guess you know, just like Europe is sort of three years, Jana was saying, behind Drupalcons in US. That's the same thing happens with countries also, as emerging economies such as India are coming up. Uh, I guess uh, job security will become less of a concern among developers as that happens, and as companies can afford to pay more attrition will be lesser in companies. And that's bound to happen. It's the natural cycle of how things work. Absolutely. From an organization perspective, I mean, I've seen a lot of companies in India have, are, are worrying less about, you know, hiring and retaining people, but uh, just ensuring that uh, they're participating in community uh, and the project more. And that automatically takes care of uh, individual satisfaction levels. People are very happy there. They're really excited about coming to job and working on code and then a lot of companies have also introduced uh, KPIs uh, for contributions, by the way. So, uh, in various forms, you know, uh, the amount of code you contribute, you know, the project that you work on. So, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, it, that's definitely one of the biggest reasons why community has helped Indian business ecosystem evolve over the years. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, what, what's the relevance if you're not an elephant? Small scale projects, does it, how small can you get before it doesn't make any sense? Well, elephants are these uh, enterprise companies. Right? Okay, not the clients, not the Royal Mails. The clients as well. Yeah. 
So organizations on, on both sides of the business, right? So, uh, uh, you know, enterprises. They're big projects. Big projects, large, huge. Big huge. projects, it makes an exceptional amount of sense. Absolutely. The smaller projects, how small does the projects become where it so smaller projects give a lot of opportunity for small teams and individuals to do a lot of learning. I mean, you can't really, you know, experiment things with a big, large enterprise project. So, you know, somewhere you have to uh, uh, get yourself uh, upskilled and, uh, you know, play around, uh, maybe mess up things, and then be ready for the large project. So, a lot of small projects are happening uh, in India. There are a lot of small companies, a lot of small startups who have been working on Drupal, and. Uh, uh, I mean, that, that, that is what leads to uh, getting more interested about delivering things in Drupal and then be ready for the larger stuff. And uh, what, would the, what would you suggest if, uh, if a UK-based company was looking to, to begin relationships like that, how would they go about it? Yeah, so I think most important uh, first step would be to identify a right organization, right? So instead of you know just going by, I mean that's the last uh, summary point I was trying to force upon. Uh, do not go by price or numbers. I mean we have like you know we've got large companies, lots of people, lots of developers, but that should not matter. What should matter is the way we are, uh, uh, the way we are doing things uh, in the right way. So meaning you know what sort of a contribution culture do we have? How uh, you know individual profiles? How are they uh, uh, doing these things? So once you once you start that, you know, work with these companies, get into some sort of a partnership, uh, do a small prototype, uh, and I mean, a lot of companies, a lot of companies in UK are already working with uh, companies in India at, on partnership uh, engagements and vendor engagements and contractuals. Pfizer is a very good example for that. The so Pfizer, I would say, is a good example of India, UK. Uh, there were lots of other uh, countries as well which were involved. Perhaps they represent teams out there. But uh, Pfizer and TCS working together uh, for a large project, and by the way, Pfizer also forced TCS, or uh, you know, pushed them to actually go more active in the community, probably share some of the code that was being done as part of the Pfizer project as well. And TCS actively agreed to that, and TCS is now now uh, uh, aggressively promoting community participations, hosting even sponsoring camps and cities where they are based in. Mumbai and in other places. So yeah, I mean, if Pfizer and uh, TCS can do, do that, let's you know uh, probably do more of those examples. One more question. Yeah, um, I've actually seen the the TCS Pfizer relationship firsthand. Um, but what I'm interested in is your thoughts on how Indian companies can get past the Western mindset that India is just where you send projects when you want stuff done cheaply and there's less of a consideration around quality. Now, um, I know that um, Indian companies can produce high quality code and great outcomes, but generally when I talk to other developers and other people in the community, there's still a perception that you know, India is full of code factories where low quality work comes from. Now, I understand that part of that is the ignorance on um, the, the West side, but is there stuff being done um, by companies in India to try to dispel that myth? Um, so if I understood your question correctly, um, how are companies evolving, right? How, not so much how are they evolving, but how are they selling the message that they have evolved from cheap code factory to high quality um, producer of work. Right. So uh, a lot of companies have already started. So as I like, that was the whole theme of my uh, talk. You know that a lot of companies have taken note of this. They are aware and they've started actively pushing the quality up by participating in community. Uh, 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 Asking their developers to, you know, do probably contributions in day daytime job and not just go home and do that there. So, which is encouraging individuals to uh, up the game. Now, from an association perspective, and uh, you know, a lot of uh, leading uh, active company in India who are, you know, participating in camps and such events have. We are like talking about some initiatives coming together, probably form some sort of a group, 
and maybe work with uh, uh, with the help and support of people association as well and then take these uh, stories out there in the marketplaces help those other companies who haven't really got the uh, idea yet or need help and guidance to uh, you know up their game as well hold more of meetups scams educate contribution culture and uh, there's a long list of initiatives that we have identified in the last couple of camps in various cities in India, primarily Delhi, Mumbai, uh, Pune to some extent. And hopefully uh, 2016 would see a lot of uh, those implementations happening as well. Uh, another uh, great uh, validation is the CON. So one of the reasons, so I was speaking to Megan when she, she was in India on a visit for uh, uh, evaluating various venues. And one of the reasons she said that they are planning for a con in India is to really validate this whole India story and I mean they have really accepted that India is doing good and they would like this to, you know, it's like you know bringing the entire business uh, and world together for a week in a country and showcasing what good stuff we've been doing out there and that's why you know a lot of uh, initiatives have been planned by various communities in India and we're trying to come together. Uh, day before yesterday, before I uh, got my flight for London, uh, five or six different cities were speaking. There was a group uh, on, uh, on Rupert.org and they agreed that let's do a, a global sprint together with everybody connected and a one big huge mammoth uh, initiative probably a um, couple of days from now. So, I mean, those are some of the things, you know, we, we're taking small steps, but the big thing is that we started taking those steps and a lot of us have started doing that together. And that's where uh, I think uh, change is happening. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to step in. Just a quick one, Ed, just a quick one. Uh, one guy from our company, Laura well, Esla, he was here in Zoom Sprints. Uh, I don't know in which city was camp. Yeah, Three weeks ago. Yeah, Laurie. Yeah. yeah. He actually course. told that he was quite interested with your company, that it's actually going forward pretty fast. And there are also very interesting people. And I'm glad he went back and shared some, you know, facts and uh, good things about this and probably again validates that, you know, things that we're doing now is good. I mean, you know, five years back we thought like we are like just one part of the, con you know, in one corner of this ecosystem and can we really go there, can we reach there. I think we've like covered a lot of th that, that journey and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, make a bigger playground for elephants. Thank you. Thank you.